button hit. Run a little bit. Run a bit late. That's super facts from Philly S. Like last show, like every week, he shows up and helps us out with the intro. Big shout out to Bill Spencer. Big shout out to everybody in the chat. Guys, if you're here, hit the like button. Tell a buddy or two. And of course, uh, you know what? Subscribe to the channel. Uh, and, and stay tuned because we got a great show, a great panel. And I'm going to get into some introductions. We'll do some shout outs. We got uh, tonight's guest, the Ashen Luca. Luca, how you been? Oh, hang on, hang on. I don't think they can hear us again. I know how to fix this, though. Okay. Uh, I, I, I had a feeling my, my spider senses were tingling here. Okay, so I'm going to hit this button here, and I'm going to hit that button, and I'm going to hit this button here. Chat, how do I sound, by the way? I'm always messing with this microphone. Last week, it sounded like trash. Hit, hit, hit the right, one that now says, we're good. We're good. Hit the button that says don't hit that button. Hit that one. We're hitting the D-batch button. Hey, Luca, good thing you didn't get very far. They can hear you now. How, how you been? <laughs> Oh, yes, I've been uh, quite well. I've been playing a lot of Halo Infinite multiplayer. got about 26 hours in. Absolutely loving that. Destiny just came out with some new content today, so I just ran through the dungeon, got my Galahorn, and I'm here with the boys. Ready to have a good show. Sound like you're being sucked into the Matrix. Is that just me? No, I heard it. Well, tell us how Neo is. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and do the next intro. We'll come back to you, and I'm sure it'll be okay. fine. Hey, uh, Fonzarelli, brother, how you been? Uh, I've been good. Uh, hopefully people can hear me. Uh, but yeah, I've been good, ready for uh, today's show and uh, glad that Luca is here. It's always awesome to have her in the house. Of course, OG panel member here for RDX. Hmm. Great to have you. Hell yeah. Hey, big shout out to George Foreman. <laughs> you need to fix your damn grill, sir. Uh, also, Poochie. Shout out to you. He says, get it together. Dark CMF. We've also got uh, Alvin We Good. And then uh, Splendiferous, uh, White Wolf, um, Brigade Ears, Blue. Shout out to you, Brother Pong Soul. And everyone else, Greg, E3, Egg, the Boss Mod, Misa Lethal Papa, the other moderators to pop in. Just a few shout outs to those in the chat already. Uh, we've got xCloud Tomb Dog, Brother Haven. Very happy. Uh, it's a big week. We got Halo um, tomorrow, and we got the TGAs the next day. So happy to be here. Good to have Luca on. Uh, like he, like uh, Fon said, OG member, and uh, we're gonna have a good show tonight. Hell yeah, yeah, we're gonna talk about game awards. Mm. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk about the game awards as well. What we're hearing, if we're hearing anything, and uh, of course, some information that's going around out there. We'll see about that. Obviously, we've also got uh, Zalker eighty seven, brother Haven. Good man, good to be here. Another week, and uh, it's actually like Tim said, a pretty big week. We got the Halo Infinite campaign dropping. I like Luca. I've been playing this multiplayer nonstop, diamond ranked, having a good time. I have like, I think I'll tell you, like thirty plus hours. I don't know, man. I just can't stop playing it. Me and my friends played a lot, and it's just good. And then I installed Serious Sam because that dropped on Game Pass, and <laughs> and uh, yeah, that game needs some serious work. <laughs> it's like it's, uh, Bro. I'm sure like uh, Bud the Cyborg or, or somebody's listening. Um, you know. It's like it's running on a single core or something. And like, if you shoot an enemy, the fucking frames just split in half, literally. It's like they went in there going, let's make Doom, but like with six bucks. Let's make Doom like, <laughs> running on an iPhone 3G. Should it's be fun. great. Uh, should, uh, also, this is a uh, Ryzen 5 running on Series X with uh, me, Dark CMF, uh, Nano Polymath, and maybe a few others, actually. I don't quite remember, but it's a good time, good footage. Uh, this game is still such a blast. We've also got uh, D-Bash, brother. How you been? Good man, twas the night before. Twas the Halo. night the microphone was far away from your face. <laughs> oh, you can't hear me again. Oh my god, no, we can hear you, we can hear you, but yeah, that's a little bit better when you leaned in there. Go ahead, okay. He's he's working on his mic chat, okay. You know how we do, we half of us have shitty mics, but we don't tolerate them, you know. So we're just trying yeah. to get everything up in order, and uh, D Bash will be back. Uh, me and Discord and mics are always <laughs> fighting. I'm always fighting for my life when I come on Discord. So, uh, Shiesty Gaming, shout out to him. Find out Super Shiesty. What's up, guys? Shout out to you. Uh, we've also got uh, Isma Easy. Uh, he says Battlefield 2042. What a effing joke EA is. Shit. We've also got Dark CMF member for 19 months. He does say uh, this is a code for 14 days of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. 
And that is in the chat. So check that out, guys. Dark Team F will be giving away a lot of stuff over the next week or two, including a code for Halo Infinite. If, you know, you're one of those that don't have Game Pass, Xbox Gamer was <laughs> spelled interestingly there, sir. Shout out to you. Uh, it does say, uh, just tested my Xbox 360 Slim Christmas gift to make sure it worked. Yeah, it worked. So excited. Uh, cannot wait. Great show so far. Shout out to you, man. Give, give away an Xbox and uh, make a family member that much more happy. And then we got one more from Randy here, if I can stress this down. Randy Johnson, shout out to you. He does say, um, hey, Tim, how many <laughs> how many grown men do you do you think have a picture of you in their phone? <laughs> <laughs> Over 200, I think, maybe. At least. I mean, it is kind of weird, man. Uh, the, the, the amount of people that carry around pictures of Tim sleeping at E3. <laughs> That was a weird one because I'd never associated with that guy at all. Though at one. Oh, you got harassment again today? Yeah, well, not harassment. Just somebody who had a picture of me, and I was like, I and I quoted it, and I said, "This guy has a picture of me on my." It's a random guy with a picture of me on his <laughs> cell phone. It's yeah. so weird. I, wait, uh, I have your picture on my wall here in a frame. Like, is that is that okay? <laughs> That's fine. Got a okay. poster. Shout out to Randy Johnson. That that a little one green a, lights around it and everything. Particularly yeah. funny chat there. And then uh, Isma Easy again. I'll get these last two here. Uh, Battle for Five had twenty twenty thousand players um, on today on Steam. Battle for Twenty Four had twenty five k. Jeez, twenty five k for Battlefield. Yeah. Yes. It's dropping hard, man. It's dropping hard. He said that it, that, that that fact is alarming. So it's interesting. And then yeah, Nano yeah. says, uh, "Make sure you show the part where I want one." <laughs> yeah, you're in here, Nano, winning, and I got a great perspective of you smashed it into me in the corner. Uh, no, we had a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, and uh, whatever. I need to move on. We got we got some super chats to come back. Let me get a few shout outs here, and then we uh, first topic's gonna be a blast. But let me get um, we got Ruben Almighty. We got terrific straight to G, straight to G11. We got Dave Incubus, Ricky Palam, Fight Lines, not 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 Silic, not not Silic, Bad Boy Live, Achievement, Nano Polymath, Zordans, Costanza, KY Bob, Goose eighty four oh two, Straw Hat Khalifa, Sess and Lupa for an object, Gab Quisteo, John Blue, Vecball, Steven X, Real Deal Neil, Suicide King, Tessa Genie, Michael Bowen, Guillermo Cavillo. Shout out to him. It's been a minute. Uh, All Might Dark CMF, who's in the chat. Alfonso Hogan, thank you guys. That does update about the fifth of every month. Uh, did you guys see this, Tim? I want to start this with you. Ori developer goes on, um, <laughs> goes online and kind of. Uh, do you know what I'm talking about? Where he went, he went and he talked about yeah. Xbox should be the first ones to send their games to all the platforms and all this shit. And I, for one, uh, just for full context, Ori in the world of Wisp, the developer was saying. Microsoft should be the first ones to send their games to all these platforms. You know, fuck going to just Xbox in the future. Definitely going to PlayStation. I don't care about that, right? My issue is, why don't you fucking ask Sony to do something? Microsoft have made sure their games are on more platforms than anyone already in the most pro-consumer man man like manner there is, including cross-buy with PC and Xbox. Sony hasn't done shit. Why don't you ask oh, them to put their shit? They're talking you're, about because they're talking about Destiny. They were talking about Bungie. Phil Spencer said that right, we, if right. if it was today, if if we were at Bungie where we are today, if we would have kept Bungie with the way Microsoft is. And the Moon Studios guy was basically saying, "No, you wouldn't, because Bungie wants to go everywhere, right? They wanted to take Destiny to PlayStation and all the platforms, and that." Ori and the Will of the Wisps. The only reason why you put it on Nintendo is because it was a small game that wouldn't make a fuss. Is what they said. Listen, his, hey, his but I'm just game, saying. My point is, I know why he said what he said, and he was asked about those things. Yeah, but you know, why not ask Sony to be the first one to fucking do it? Because they've done listen, the least of it by far already. Listen, he's doing that because he's now uh, detached from Microsoft, and he's going to be on PlayStation. So he's his whole uh, his whole view, I think, on the situation changed once that was the case. Anybody looking at the situation to think that if you put all your games on another platform in this day and age, either Sony or Xbox, to lose to not have exclusives is moronic. Mm -hmm. So there's there's really no arguing that. Like, uh, you know, yeah, you can make the but the obvious thing is is that you need exclusives. I think that's what we learned 2017 on when Xbox had zero and Sony had fifty. 
and everyone was like, oh, Xbox doesn't have games, <laughs> you know, and now the tables have turned, and now we have this guy who has his game going to another platform, now it's not Mr. Xbox, and he's taking that tech. That's my opinion on the situation. Um, he's allowed to have his opinion, but I just kind of, I, I think it's just uh, his opinion is kind of, it's, 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 it's not, it's, it's I, not I agree with you. Argued. I agree with you, Tim, in a way, but for a different reason. I don't think that Microsoft need exclusives as in, you know, hey, we need these or we're not going to sell. They've proven they don't need that shit. This generation proves it, right? Their games have never been in more places on day one. The consoles have never been in more demand. And the games are doing phenomenally as a result of how many platforms they're on. But I would say that they're going to do that, what you said, get more and more exclusives. Not for that reason, but because of services like Game Pass. They are amassing these armies, these armadas of games that you can only play on one streaming or or locally played service uh, over another, right? Game Pass versus PlayStation Now or Sony's new services we will talk about. Um, yeah, they, they want exclusive games on their service, just like Hulu and Netflix, all that good right. stuff, right? Zalker, Ponce, you guys got anything, any take on this? Yeah, and, and I get what you're saying by like, why not ask Sony? Because it tends to be like, when it's all about like opening up or giving this or doing that and not making it exclusive, it always kind of this narrative always goes towards Microsoft. Like, why aren't you doing it? It's like you never see anybody go to Sony and be like, hey, why aren't you doing this? Mm -hmm. Why isn't this happening? Un until it was that cross play. That was the only time where it was cross play, cross save, all that, where everybody wanted it. And it was Sony. It got so bad that it was only Sony holding it back. And then now everybody was like, yo, what's going on over here? And then they had to do it, right? They had to be like, all right, we're going to start allowing it. That's the, so this whole thing about like having your games everywhere, like like you said, it's like this, Xbox's games are everywhere. Their PC, their console, their cloud, they're everywhere but one console, which is the Sony PlayStation. That's it. That's the only console that doesn't have it. And and, and even Nintendo has some of their games, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Like so, that's just what it is. Like it just it's just a little weird, I think. And this guy, the guy that spoke out, actually has spoken out before in February of this year. He spoke out against, uh, I think it was Cyberpunk, and, like, reamed them. And then, like, came back and, like, apologized because he was so harsh and, like, was like, uh, you know, never mind, because he burned bridges. So he's outspoken. He says what he wants to say. But this thing was just kind of dumb. It was like, bro, like, what are you doing? Why are you burning a bridge with a company you made two exclusive games with, right? That funded you. Yeah, it seems like he has some kind of underlying issue or something because I don't even understand why he spoke out. It's like you said, Zocker, their games are almost everywhere except for PlayStation. If you have a PC, you can access these games. If you have an Xbox, you can access these games. I don't really see what the problem is in this concept that they are, they're not acting accordingly, quote-unquote, is um, ridiculous in my opinion. Well said. Yeah. And anybody that criticizes it, anybody that criticizes Xbox of like opening up their platform is an idiot. <laughs> they, have, they are actually like pioneering opening up the platform. Like I've said, like they like it, it, there's no other platform out there where I can play my game everywhere. No matter where I am, pick it up where I left off. There's nothing out there like this. This is why <laughs> Xbox is like, you know, one of the best and this is why I prefer the platform and the ecosystem. Nothing nobody else is doing that. You nobody forget about That's Stadia, their bitch. Stadia is everywhere and don't you dare talk God. shit about it, boy. RIP Stadia. Honestly, I just feel that it comes from just him in his personal position because when he was you know, um with Xbox or with making games exclusively, he would be outspoken. He once said that, uh, why would you want to play an old system? And he took a real big shot at the pro, um, you know, and he, you know, so he, he, he's had a history of this. Um, I, you know, I, I've actually, I've, I, he's been on a show of mine, uh, RD, um, TXR and, you know, I've had him, I was there. So he's a nice guy, but it's just, I just think he had just had a bad take, but I just think that it's also a take that it's because he's in that personal position. Now he wants his game Sony and Xbox and let's talk Unity and all that stuff because his situation has changed. So to me, you know, I, I, one, of the, one of the things that I did like was that Phil, the statement that Phil did say, and he's 100% exactly right, that Bungie could probably work under their own order. Like the way he has it set up, um, and that's a good thing when when he says things like that, uh, and shows confidence, you know, overall. Um, because I I do think there's some acquisitions that would can happen until 2022. Um, mm. but we shall see. 
We shall see. I think it's just, pretty, I think it's just the money. Good, it's just the money. Uh, seems like they have a pretty good relationship, Bungie and Microsoft, considering some games from Halo showed up in the Destiny anniversary content today. So. Ooh, not to mention Destiny. Games. Destiny's in, in Game Pass for not just the console, but PC. It's everywhere. Like, the Game Pass, the, the new expansion. Um, I haven't played it, but I was just saying, like, they have a... It looks like they're having a pretty good relationship going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean historically i would say they do and they need some funding i think they're like 500 million in debt to Tencent or something maybe i'm pulling that number out of my ass somebody in the chat can help me by the way shout out to uh <laughs> <laughs> shout out to close to the close to a thousand getting live here uh thanks for showing up and uh shout out to everyone who checked out my halo infinite review yesterday you know i love the game if you watched it uh i just had a problem with the lack of an ending um but still gave it a mid 80 i think 80 45 because uh Man, I could only imagine if they just kept it going. And I know it's going to expand, and I cover all that in really, really uh, good detail or, or sporadic detail in my video yesterday. And, and again, appreciate everyone who checked it out. But the meta score is in. I don't want to talk about really my opinion on the game. Uh, I'll address maybe some questions if you guys have some, maybe Fonz or, or some others want to ask some things or talk about a few things. But uh, what's the meta score currently, uh, Zalker87? I expect you to notice off the top of your bitch ass head. Bitch, it's eighty six. <laughs> eighty six. So it's like one point higher than what I what I personally gave it. Um which yeah. is, it's on is Xbox, good. It's an eighty two on PC. Fuck PC. Is it an eighty two? Um, <laughs> it is an eighty two on PC. No, it's an eighty two on PC, eighty six. Yeah, it is eighty eighty two. I see eighty three on PC. Is there two of them? Like what the fuck? No, it's eighty three. No. How many halos are there? It's being eighty two, so it doesn't yeah. matter. It's one point. Hey, Chad, yeah, let matter. us know what you <laughs> think about uh, Halo's 85 or 86 meta for the Xbox and, of course, AV2 for that trash-ass PC. Uh, I don't know. I mean, is anybody here surprised by that? I mean, personally, I would have gave the campaign by itself because I did factor in the multiplayer. I would have gave that like an 88, 89 had it not kind of fallen off at the end. Um, it's, it's good, man. It's 343's best story today. I don't want to show the campaign footage here. I don't want to spoil anything for you guys, but... Um, you know, Fonz, what were you kind of getting from all this? Um, yeah. look, I don't know. I hearing some stuff from you about the game and some other people who aren't, uh, very happy with the direction of the story where it ends up anyway. Uh, that, that really saddens me because as somebody who likes single player campaign games, um, yeah, I mean, the game could be really fun. But the story is important, and uh, I don't want to spoil things. What story is there? Is pretty good. What until a point, right? Until a point, and and that's that's not good. I was wondering why more people didn't mention the ending. Well, the 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 thing is like this: like I I look at games like The Last of Us Two. I I think it's an amazing game. Uh, The mechanics, the gameplay, the gameplay loop really fun, but the story sucks in my opinion. And that hurts it a lot for me. Uh, so that's the way I look at games and, um, story means a lot in the campaign and for me. So uh, I'm looking forward to playing this game, uh, Halo Infinite, because it looks a ton of fun, but the story does scare me. Uh, <laughs> Kane, so you we'll, could still we'll end out. up enjoying it, you know, yeah, like, of course. I, wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't there's go things to enjoy. It. There's things to enjoy, but like when you hear certain things, like, and I've heard specifics as well, mm-hmm. and I'm not happy with it, Luca. Like, well, I would already. say you gotta, you you do have to experience it. But I'm gonna it. experience it. Yeah, I'm, and course, I would also say that what's play. there is is very promising. Like I said in, in my video, and I'm just kind of I was shocked when it did end because because remember this is something I do want to get across to a thousand people watching here. If uh, if you if you get the game for review, I beat this game over like a month ago. Right, run through it again. Uh, I had the preview. I had full access to the game. I uh, beat it forever ago, um, and I had no heads up about the ending of this game. And some people are saying, "Oh, it's Halo Two. No, it's not Halo Two. This is uh, this is uh, it's hard to explain, but it, it it doesn't it doesn't end like Halo Two. Halo Two had much more of a build up, much more meaty, and uh, you kind of ended one of more satisfying area where this feels like okay this is good i'm really excited about what's you know about to happen and then and uh, you know at the end of the day and, 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 at the, that's fine though as long yeah, as you and, consider and it take it for what it is there's, yeah yeah there's people out there like uh there's a guy in the chat that said 
for him, like the last of his two was a 10 out of 10, even with a bad story. And I'm like, for me that it, it can't be, it can't be a masterpiece. If the story falls flat in the campaign, I'm sorry. It's just, it's, it's it can't be a nine out of 10 in my opinion. So I mean, that's the thing with reviews. They're just, they're just, they're, they're opinions. They're glorified. Yeah, they're opinions, opinions. You know, so they're glorified. Really yeah. Yep. Now, some but, of the but, reviews uh, is then, in 4K, though, so be sure and check out that crispy 4K footage in yesterday's video. Fun factor is very important, but for some people, fun factor is uh, now at the top of the list, but the story means a lot, too. So, And I'm just saying that. For me, I'm, story I'm means you, a lot. No, I'm I'm with you. Mm -hmm. I, hear I get you. It. I, I get it, and I and I think I think I've read you know I've seen a lot of reviews, talked to a lot of people that have played the game, and you know I for me the number one thing in a game is always gameplay, gameplay and fun factor. That's the number one thing I always want. And story, yeah, if the story's like completely like jarring or just doesn't make sense or just stupid, yeah, I could ruin it. But for me, it's, it's like especially Halo. Halo is is just always been first and foremost gameplay. If I if I'm having fun and you know from what I've seen and what everybody's talking about. The open world, everything is just awesome. Like doing all those bases that you saw that they previewed, everything. Like you're going to do whatever the hell you want and you're Master Chief and you can attack any situation any way you see fit. That to me is great. I don't want to be like, I, I hope it's not as scripted or anything like that. Like I enjoy doing things the way I like doing them. Like Far Cry is great because I can tackle any situation I want. It's definitely open. Any way but, I want. But and that's what, I, that's what I want. That's to what do it. You're not, in a, you're not a <laughs> an eight foot Spartan sneaking into the bushes or nothing, but. Uh, you definitely <laughs> Assassin's Creed. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely show up and fuck some stuff up, and and it, it's fun. And I, I don't know anyone who said the game is ruined because of it or their experience was ruined. Gameplay is first. That's why it goes without saying a lot of times on the show. Um, if it, the gameplay's trash, it's hard to get into a game. Period. Um, but I would say if you're looking forward to the campaign, if you're watching campaign reviews, you're obviously interested in the story. And, you know, you got to be 100% real with people and tell them, hey, in my opinion, this kind of ended way too soon. And I get that they're going to update it. No word on any expansion right now, meaning it's at least a year away. You take it for what it is right now. Um, you know, I still say an 84, 85 uh, is a great score for a game with a multiplayer like that. A great story for what's there. Uh, enjoy it. And I think that does that come out tonight, actually, in Game Pass? It comes out 10, at least 10 o'clock in the morning for me tomorrow. So it's not it's not the midnight release or nine o'clock release, whatever, if you're on the West Coast. Um, but for me, I, I, to kind of talk about the game a little more, I feel like I'm going to need two reviews for this. One, I'm going to be playing by myself. And then six months later, I'm going to be playing in May with a friend because that's 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 what. Just add another point Halo to the is. one six months from now. Dude, it's gonna be more fun. Like, I know it's going to be more fun, but for me, that's what Halo always was, was co-op. That's why I always played it every time. First, I've always played it co-op, never played it alone first. So now this is gonna be my first Halo I play alone, and I've heard that it's pretty big. Like I've heard that it takes a, you know some reviewers said it took them like twenty five hours to do stuff, yeah. like to do all the stuff. I don't and know. Then, uh, <laughs> I don't know what them doing. Yeah, I haven't heard that. Now, if you just I, run I, through I, the Brad, story, which I don't advise anyone do, it's not how I play games either. But if, if you know people are curious, you know it's uh you know probably six seven hours long if you just run through the story. But who's gonna really do that? And probably some, but. Uh, I, that's why I advise in the video, do the FOVs, do the high value targets. And, and you know, if the, the co-op is there, this is the, this is the halo I wanted to co-op in the most because it was so much fun out in the open world and just fucking shit up. And, and to have somebody next to me, you know, my twin brother, uh, going around and pistol whipping grunts, just get out. you yeah, know, I don't want to say too, bad shit, I, just I, get the fuck out. I really don't want to talk too much about halo that much anyway, until I actually play it. And then I'll yeah, get my, play it. you gotta experience it. Yeah. There's so many people that are saying this is the best halo they've ever played. It is. It's um, definitely up there. You know, and this is a lot of the, listen, 87 Metacritic. It's still, it's an 86 now, but if it hits an 87 it has a possibility with a couple of reviews coming out tomorrow and it's like weighted very weak for 86. So, a 95 will knock it back up. But for yeah. it to get 87, which I'm hoping for, was, like, super surprising to me. I had known about the issues, some of the stuff that you guys were talking about, other stuff. But, you know, I predicted 86, and I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I nailed it. But I really felt like it could be an 85, or... I didn't think... I knew that it wouldn't lose to... Uh, Halo 5. I knew that they would have a higher score. And, and listen, I agree that like uh, with with all the stuff that you guys are saying, but 
you also have to realize that they're probably setting you up for the story. At least I'm hoping um, further down the line because it's, I would say there'll be an expansion in two years. Yeah, which so, is which is not the point. True, but yeah, and yeah, and, and, and but, Tim and I've been saying on this show for quite a while that for me, again, it's for me. I I, I need a satisfying ending to this game yeah, because well, I was worried about the 10 year plan. It, you know what I'm this saying? Is, this is probably, yeah, I agree. This is probably a, a casualty of war in that case, because if you're going to make a 10 year, 10 year game, you're probably just, you know, going to do what they did. And then, you know, I, I would think that, you know, like, I think, more- I think it's marketing. I think the 10 year thing is marketing. I think uh, we've heard this before with destiny one. I think that yep. uh, from because remember I beat the game. What it, it just feels like, like I said, it just feels very nice, big, huge, polished until it just Jeez. ends, and you're like, "What the fuck did that just happen?" Yeah, and just, then it just feels like it's just not finished. And my point earlier was that's why it hit me a little harder, and it might hit some of you because I wasn't warned about this shit beating it a month ago. Nobody fucking told me any of this stuff. And there's people talking about it behind the scenes, but in the reviews, they didn't really reflect that, which is weird. Hey, I, I, I think people are missing a, a huge point here because uh, George in the chat, he keeps saying, uh, it's obvious that I hate Halo. Halo Combat Evolved is in my top five favorite games of all time, sir. Uh, I love Halo 1 through 3. I, I love those games, okay? Uh, Halo 2 ended on, a, yes, a, a kind of a cliffhanger type of deal, but it it doesn't sound anything much like different this, than okay? This one, yeah. It's much different. <laughs> The thing uh, is- and I talk to people and I talk to people that are I'm close to that I trust and they are divided on it. Some people really don't like the ending and some think it's just okay. So well, that's why listen, I'm we- kind of walking into this a bit leery, but I am not even giving a score, sir. So don't act like I'm giving my review here. Wait till next week when I All play right, the so, game. I mean, it's the thing real that- quick here. I oh, just want to say real quick. Uh, I the way that every, I haven't played the game obviously, but the way everyone's describing it, to me personally, I, I think some episodic stuff is gonna drop. This was always a rumor that we've heard that they they wanted to do this episodic. So I think there's gonna be some episodic content that drops. We know that they're gonna be dropping ray tracing. We know they're gonna be dropping co-op, and that would be the perfect time to you know to to add on to it. So I, I gotta I I'm I'm talking kind of blind because I haven't cleared the game, but just based on what people say how the ending, you know, kind of was abrupt. Some people are like like what we're hearing here in this uh podcast, people are torn about it. But to me, I don't know. It seems like they're gonna drop something more to add on to it. So I don't know. Okay, so here's the thing. When it comes to storytelling, even if it's an ongoing story, you're supposed to have a beginning, middle and end. If dealer is saying yes. that it feels abrupt and that it's just ending off on a, oh, okay, I kind of wanted more note, then that's not good storytelling on their end. Uh, also, Halo 5 got, what, an 84 on Metacritic? So the reviewers were loving it. So just because a game scores well doesn't automatically mean it's a good game for the people who play it. So you're just going to have to play it for yourselves. At the end of the day, you know we're all going to have to come to our own conclusion about how we feel about the end. And we can only wait until we actually play it. Mm-hmm. Man, yeah. I love Luca. Yep. She, she, she hit it on So everyone here, listen, because I played, no, I'm just kidding. Hey, at the end of the day, uh, you, you're going to see what I'm talking about or you're not going to feel the same way. And at least you've been warned. I think that's a big thing that, uh, like I said, that's why I just mentioned it. I wasn't warned about it. Uh, you guys have been warned. You probably will see it. Who knows? You might even see it coming. But uh, I definitely didn't. I still gave the game a bit 80. I still think it's uh, going to be massive, especially over this whole generation or a lot of this generation. And uh, I'm excited for you guys to jump into the story because it is 343's best storytelling. You know, I said this in the video. Um, Master Chief's more human than ever. Uh, there's certain things in the story they don't really do, you know, the greatest here and there. But at the end of the day, they, this is a big leap for them. You got to remember, they, I don't know, whether they only made two games before this pretty much. So yeah. the last one was terrible <laughs> when it comes to story. So but, uh, this is be- way better uh, when it comes to story. And uh, if you're playing the campaign, you probably want that to be as good as possible. And it's all opinion, like Lucas said, but I really don't want to sit here and talk about this yeah. uh, for too long. I'm excited for you guys to get your hands on it. Uh, shout out to the 1200 almost that are here listening to us talk about 
Halo Infinite. It's 86 meta overall. A lot of L's being handed out there on Twitter Ooh. from people that were saying this is going to be trash and all this bullshit. And by the way, I couldn't talk about this before, yeah. but I can now. The visuals in the game when it comes to Eshram and, and all this shit and, uh, you know, Atriox and all this stuff, which you can't really be specific on. There are scenes in the game that are up there with some of the best looking shit. And, you know, I know one cutscene in particular is pre-rendered, but the rest are, you know, they're, 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 they're beautiful. So anybody saying there's no difference and the Eshram looks the same and all this shit, you don't know shit. You ain't played it. You, you just don't have the perspective, okay? So uh, my video about Halo and the way that it looked, the one that crap was trying to use in this video, all that shit, it all applies. Everyone can go fuck themselves. How about that? So, <laughs> again, shout out to everyone who's watching. Hit the like button. Tell a buddy to, we call it Real Deal Xbox Podcast for a reason. How does my mic sound, Fonz? Hey, hey, hey. Good. Hey, I just want to ask you real quick. Is, is this game releasing at midnight, or is it releasing tomorrow at 1 o'clock in the afternoon? Because I'm just 10, 10 a.m. tomorrow. Oh. 10 a.m., so 1 o'clock in that, That's oh. such a weird time, right? Stop bitching, Fonz. 10 a.m. No, you know what? I just wanted it to release on a Friday because uh, it's my weekend, you know. I mean, <laughs> play a game on a Well, Wednesday. you got to get through Mad Max anyway. Dude, Mad Max so it's, good. It's good, man. I'm glad you got me back playing that game again. I beat it That's like awesome. five years ago, and I jumped back in. And I'm like, holy shit, FPS boost. It holds 60. up. That game just holds up, man. The it mechanics, does. Mechanics, the gameplay loop. It's amazing. Let me give a uh, few shout outs here. Uh, Lord Starkiller, big shout out to him. 20 other super chases. Looking forward to using the uh, the grapple shot in Halo Infinite campaign. Uh, quick tip uh, upgrade that damn jetpack. There's going to be some bosses that, y you know, you might want to jetpack because it covers distance much faster. Randy Johnson, shout out to you, brother, uh, becoming a new channel member. Splendiferous exclusives on the platform. Um, hang on. On the platform like Street Sharks Bite. Street Sharks, hashtag Street Sharks. I forgot all about that. Shout out to you, brother. And we've also got Assassin Lupa. She has been a channel member for 25 months. Shout out to her. Awesome review dealer. Thank you very much. Thanks for uh, watching it. Sir X-Man, I'll come to you in a second. Valorian, he says, okay, was Halo Infinite's ending like Halo 2's? I remember being ready to get, no, it definitely is not like Halo 2's ending, in my opinion. I felt like there was much more along the way, more things answered, uh, and... A little bit more of a journey. That's why it's a little bit different here. Um, anybody else want to grab a few of these? You can help me out a little bit here. Anybody ready, soccer? You eating some carrots? What are you doing? I got dark CMF. Go That's ahead. the only one I could see up. Uh, he says, is the Halo Paramount Plus show legitimately only being available on Paramount Plus? That's why it's called the Paramount Plus show. Yeah. Yes, dark CMF. <laughs> That's it. It's called exclusive on there. Yeah, so that'll be there. Exclusive. That's actually, apparently there's going to be a, something at the Game Awards for it, too. They tweeted about it and said, see you there, Spartans, and... They're gonna have a, yeah, they're going to have a video of uh, or a presentation or, or whatever you want to call it, sneak peek. Trailer? Yeah, trailer for the, for the movie, for the episodes yeah. that are coming to uh, Paramount, which I can actually say if you're in the, like looking for over-the-top media, that is one of the better ones. I, I, I'm actually thinking about losing Hulu, but I can't. This is a Wu Tang saga. Uh, oh, Wu Tang saga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the show I watch. It's, it's my favorite show. But I'm like thinking about losing another like pe Peacock or whatever. One of the stupid things they have. Um, what the fuck is that. Peacock? Peacock another is service. A, yeah, it's, it's another streaming. Service. It's another service. Yeah. Um, but I have to say, Paramount's good. They for some reason they get sports games too, live sports games, which is different. So I, I kind of like it. And speaking uh, of sports, we uh, also we also have Sir X Men. He says, "Has anyone ever heard of Cliffhangers?" I know the movie Cliffhanger with Sylvester Stallone. That movie's fucking yeah. Savage. Sir X Men, look, man, I get what you're saying. I'm not trying to kill your hype. I'm trying to be honest with you about my opinion. That's all there is to it. I've I've been uh, in games with cliffhangers. I played Halo Two. I played. I got 700 fucking games. This is different. I mean, it, it's more like, has anyone ever read a book before? Even if a book is in a series of books, most books have a concrete ending, you know? Yeah. And then they continue on, the on garden, right? in the next novel. So I, I don't see what the issue is. It's like, uh, let me put it to you this way. It's like a Neo in Matrix uh, Reloaded, and he's about to have, like, one of those big-ass fucking fights, and then it ends instead of ending on the table where he's next to that other motherfucker, right? Uh, Agent Smith in human form. It's like ending right before something magnificent, 
only to be like, hey, wait until the next one. And there's a there's a there's a time and a place, sir, X Man. So trust me, no one wants to be negative about this game here, especially me. Uh, but I'm going to be honest with you, no matter what. And I don't uh, even that's think my being negative. I, the I'm biggest not, cliffhanger I know is uh, the biggest cliffhanger I remember watching was the Hobbit two. My the, one, like, my, that, the biggest one I that? ever saw was Stand By. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I hate you, hey, bro. Jo- uh, Joaquin, shout out to you. Says this 100 million investment. From uh, Natis, is that a company? Is that a car? Uh, maybe I'm pronouncing that right. N e t e a s e. If anything, we're getting the first rights. He's talking about uh, Bungie. So yeah, shout out to Sean T. Uh, shout out to Valorian. Uh, I got a again. couple other ones if you want me to go. Go ahead. Uh, Danny Passion uh, Fisher says it will be nice if they drop the next DLC with co-op. They're going to because co-op comes out in May, and if they drop the DLC without co-op. I'm rating them. I don't give a shit. I'm looking for that uh, call, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, Hargeet, a uh, channel member for three Hargeet. months, said Gears 4 and 5 also ended Boy. abruptly. Still disappointed and wasn't able to land a 90-plus meta. Being open about roadmap for story DLC would have helped with ratings. So now if you're going to yeah. bring up 4 and 5 of Gears of War, I would say those had much more of a story buildup and a little bit more of an explanation and more things were answered um, impactful endings. Yeah, it was it was just a better spot. That's all, man. You got to take it for what it is. And I, I'm really, really curious to see what everyone's thoughts are next week on the show because uh, you know that was pretty much my main, my only complaint about the game. Still gave it a mid 80. So shout out to Hardy. Shout out to everybody here, guys. If you haven't considered the like button, tell a buddy or two. Let's try to get closer to a thousand likes for the end of the show. Uh, we're always gonna kind of keep it 100. And uh, there's a lot of people out there that will just lie to you and tell you some bullshit because that's what you want to hear. But at the end of the day, um, just give me your raw take, honest opinions Everybody's here. Everybody's talking about I Harry think, Potter now. Harry Potter. I think, I think all things considered, how you know how it was shown it the first time we saw the game, you know that it's missing co-op, you know that it was delayed a year. I, I think the eighty-six is a relatively good score. Man. It's a good score, yeah. Yeah. So play it. Make up your mind for yourself, man. I'll, I'll play it tomorrow, and yeah, next week it will be interesting to see see our different views on the game as all of us should have you'll have to run through the game though and get to that ending yeah i'm I'm beating the whole game i'm gonna stream that shit man (laughs) no i'm just gonna do the side stuff have a blast don't rush it you know take oh no i'm gonna play i'm just i heard a lot of stuff it's all there man i heard the side missions take up quite a bit of time and some of them are quite challenging too some of those some of those bosses and i heard that they're really unique experiences yeah yeah, no, no two are alike, so I'm looking forward to that. I took out a couple, um, and, you know, you got everything from groups of grunts and elites and, and like, special elites with special weapons to, you know, wraith tanks and different ghosts and all kinds of stuff going on. Some of those, they're pretty challenging, and, and I was like, man, I wish I had a buddy here to help me with some of this fucking shit. Because I was playing on Heroic, right? So, uh, But it was really challenging for Heroic. It was uh, more than I thought it would be, uh, that's for sure, so... They got some good aim, I'll tell you that. We'll come back to some of these other super chats. Let's move forward uh, because we got Shot some other good flood. topics. <laughs> <laughs> this is Blood Runner. Me and Zach were playing Halo 2, and I got fucked up by a flow with a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, already, he's like, all right, let's go. He turned the corner, got headshotted. I ran away. <laughs> like, no, I'm good, bro. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, you know what else got headshot of a Sony fan's PS uh, Now rebrand coming oh in 2022? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, what a segue. <laughs> huh? Hashtag Spartacus. There's so many people that act like Sony haven't been planning this shit. I tell you this again because it's fucking true. Jim Ryan crawled through Phil Spencer's window and stole that motherfucker's diary. He's reading it word for word, doing the same shit. He stole the playbook. They're years behind. And guess what? They got a three-tier service called Spartacus. I'm told eventually day and date we'll be put in that third tier. Uh, And, you know, what are you going to do but bitch about it because you get more value for your money? Uh, yeah. And when you get a certain amount of subscribers, it doesn't really it's, matter, right? It's, so. it's exactly what we said was gonna. Remember, we were, we were talking about this and how PS Now. We we're like, oh, I just think they need to rebrand it. Well, they were like, well, just throw it in there with PS Plus because that does well, and everybody knows what that is. And the the three tiers is, I don't know, I I, I thought this was kind of weird. It's like the first tier is just basically PS Now or PlayStation Plus. The second tier is PlayStation Plus and PS Now kind of put together. And then the third tier is you're able to stream them, and then you're able to play PS1, PS2, PS3 games, and PS4, or something like that. So 
I, I don't know, man. It's basically them charging for back compatible like generational yeah. games, which is again. Well, just it's going to be their cloud streaming service eventually, yeah. anyway. So from, from Azure, exactly. it's pretty interesting I, though because Microsoft are looking for a way to divide uh, Game Pass a little bit more as well. I know they're trying to get things cheaper for some and, and offering more for others. So you know, Sony again, the same exact fucking shit. Tim Dog, what are your thoughts on Spartacus? Well, I think we were talking about a week ago how this was all going to happen. Mm, fucking um, a year ago. Yeah, well, we were even saying it was going to happen in 2022. Uh, you know, I, I've heard rumblings that it was it was happening, so now it's official. And um, listen, my my only take is is that if they don't go day and date it's always going to be maligned versus game pass and yes it is their version of game pass it's not a rebranding uh this they're they're trying to to uh you know assemble what xbox has but in a little bit different way trying different things maybe like demos and stuff like that uh is it good for the gamer yes because it's a service it's more organized it's, they're going to get more games all that stuff they're going to get but when it comes down to it, it's going to be compared to Game Pass, and Game Pass has too many things on it. If they said, let's put a game day and date, they're a legit competitor day one against Xbox Game Pass. And, you know, that's the day a and big, date. Yeah, I think if they don't put it if they don't put it on PC, they'll just be a competitor on console, not everywhere else. They won't hit the numbers that Game Pass is hitting. Right. It's and just to, simple yeah. as that. Take into consideration that if their base tier is PlayStation Plus then they can use their online subscriber number to act like their game subscription service is doing much better than it actually is. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. They're going to try to entice people at first with nostalgia, with like the old games, PS1, PS2, no. PS3. But they're work. also, no, no, listen. And they're also going to get uh, some multi-plat deals involved. You know they're going to do that. And they already do um, that on PlayStation Now today, yeah. Yeah, but, but I, I'm just saying they're going to continue to do that. Uh, and then I think they're going to have smaller titles that are first party and they're going to implement those in first and make those day and date. And then later on, uh, yeah, you, you know, I don't know how long down the line, but mm -hmm. of course they're going to do a day and date at some point. <laughs> it's the slow, I think they're, waiting, the slow on, boil I think they're the waiting on multiple technique. things. I think they're waiting on multiple things. I think that they want to do day and date when they get their PC going. I mean, their C their CFO said we're investing yeah. in clouding and PC. So even more in PC, he emphasized PC multiple times in that mm -hmm. like little thing with the like conference call. So they're going to wait for that. And then they're going to start putting day and date once they get that going. But for me, it's just like, that's just what's going to happen is they're You're gonna talking years out. though. And it's not going to, it's not going to be years there. They yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know why? Takes because time. we have a chip shortage and even to create servers that are going to be able to do that, they need those chips. Uh, you know, they, they, it's going to take years for them to get all this together. Uh, the chip shortage is not going to be let up until 2023 now. It, we won't see day and date in there uh, for big is, games anyway until at least 2024, 2025. What do the chip shortage, have to, do, if, if shortage have to do with PC development? Like them making no, 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 games. not PC development. I'm talking about, I'm about cloud. The cloud. Oh, cloud. you're talking about cloud. Oh, got you, got you. Which one of you think that they do and how they started? You compare it now, Sony's getting their feet on the ground. Just think about it. Xbox came out and Game Pass came out in 2017. There were times where it just grows. It's just, you know, yeah, so Sony's, it, Sony's is, is embarking on that right now. You're 100% correct. They are definitely in PC. That's why they got those PC devs. They might even want to have a PC offering of, of, of this that they can give to PC gamers. Um, because I know one thing for sure is that the PC market right now is being looked at from Sony and Xbox through, through I know through for, for Xbox that they're looking to embolden the Game Pass for PC. And the reason because there's most most of the growth is there. You could have an exorbitant amount of growth. So as I said last year or for this year uh would be a tremendous uh, Game Pass uh year and it still will be but PC is going to be the focus. Now, I don't think you need to worry about like um, anything if you're a console because they, they get the same thing. But if you're a PC gamer, uh, just just watch this year. I think it's all going to start at the TGAs too. And 
You're not wrong about that. I, I really think that the PC market is something they're going to go after first yeah. when it comes to day so and date as well. Either. Because it doesn't, inf yeah, Sony. I'm talking about because yeah. it's it's not really going to infringe on their console market. Um, I I think that a lot of people r really need to understand that Sony's changing along with the industry, and it's it's going to take time for them to build upon all this stuff and to gain the amount of subs they want. Microsoft is so ahead of the game when it comes to Game Pass and a service like this, but Sony will try to make uh, c catch up here. I, I try have, to catch I up. I have like a different take on it. I, I think, um, well, first of all, I'm like watching the gamers reaction to this announcement and like the original author of the article said it was a game pass competitor competitor. And then the next day he came back and said, Oh, it's not a game pass competitor. Like, like, what are we doing here? It's definitely a game pass competitor. Now their, their titles, I think eventually, and I think sooner than later will be day and date in that service, because you got to remember now that, they truly are competing with Game Pass, no matter what anybody's trying to tell you. They're competing with Game Pass. And in order to compete with that service, you're going to have to have a similar offering. So in the beginning, I think it's going to be like staggered releases. So, you know, some of the games that maybe came out five months ago, they'll, they'll, they'll start putting it on there. Yeah. And slowly yep. and slowly, it'll it'll be day and day. I don't think it's going to take a two-year cycle for that. As well as the cloud gaming stuff, I don't think it's going to take as long as a lot of you guys may think it will because... They don't have to do the legwork. Microsoft already did the legwork. They're paying for the services. So it's really on Sony to get their stuff together and decide what they want to do. So it's it's not a, a, a question of in infrastructure or, you know, their, their design and all that stuff. It's already done. They, they, they paid for the servers. Well, um, their, their PC stuff, I think, will be separate. Uh, they made a healthy investment in um, Epic Games and, you know, in my opinion, I think it just would make better sense to do business with the Epic Store because, you know, you've invested in the company. And, of course, you're going to get some perks with that. So I I think anything PC related, and if, I think some of it will come on Steam, whatever, but, like, their thing, I think it will be something in conjunction with, with, with Epic Games. Yeah, I don't see why people, like, face 2K in the chat says, you guys really want to see them go day and day bad. I do personally because I save a lot of money with Game Pass and I like uh, not having to buy every new game that drops first party. It's, I would love that for I'm some. I'm confused I'm as to why uh, I'm confused as to why the fans of a PlayStation don't want more value for their money. You know, why are you so exactly. concerned with I, I've seen, someone I've else's seen, money? It doesn't make any sense at all. I've seen half of them say, "Oh." Uh, that's it. I'm not gonna get this service. I, I don't. I, I want to pay for my games. Like it's. It. It would be a. First of all, it would be a discount to you. So that's to your benefit. If they have more subscribers on the service, the company is making more money. Well, so you can. You don't even have to go that deep. You tell like these flawed. people, look, fuckface. Do you not see the data? The games sell more. The <laughs> yeah. companies say the games sell more. The companies get more funding than if without Game Pass, and you yeah. can still sell it everywhere. Buy it yourself, like I do. You can do whatever you want, like, but the data yeah. doesn't back you up. And I want to move on. I want to go forward off this yeah. damn topic. A big shout out to over 1,200 here. Hit the like button if you haven't. Tell a buddy to. And, of course, uh, let us know your thoughts. A uh, few shout outs here. Meet Puppet. Uh, shout out to him. He says, best, best Xbox podcast out there. Hopefully, the campaign for Halo is good. I'm done. He's done. I'm sorry, <laughs> Meat Puppet. Don't be done. I'm sure you'll like it. Fine. Chinook Guy says, what's up, dealer? Um, going to be. Oh, <laughs> he said, when is the dealer going to be? NFT in a Ubisoft game. What the hell is that? NFT. It's like a, a digital art or some shit. Oh, okay. Uh, shout out to you, Chino guy. And then we got um, <laughs> we got uh, Caper Grant. Am I saying that right? Uh, hopefully yeah, Caper Grant. Uh, he says, thanks for your honesty, dealer. Can't wait to play it. Uh, give it a try tomorrow. Shout out to you, brothers. And then I got uh, a couple other ones. Go ahead. I got the rest. Uh, Sir X Men says I took off Thursday and Friday to beat Halo campaign. I was thinking about doing that, but nah, I want to do that. But I'm just gonna play all weekend. Uh, Dark CMF Spartacus appeared to Dancing Jim in a dream. He said, "If if you build it, they will tweet." <laughs> what the fuck, Dark so, CMF? <laughs> Dark CMF is the best. Uh, we also got um, <laughs> Mad Will. He said three months of Ultimate. Let's get ready for it. He put out the code up there, people, so you can see it. Mad Will is always giving away mad codes in the chat. Shout out to Mad Will, $20 yeah. Super Chat. And we got uh, Lord Star Killer, 10 bucks. He said, after Sony and their pony said Game Pass was not sustainable, now they intro a weak imitation to Game Pass and with backup stuck behind a paywall. Thumbs mm. down. Oh, shit. 
and demos apparently they might just throw some demos in there like tim said right uh, you so, mean like the godfall demo that's going there for playstation <laughs> now right did you I, did, uh, I can't i can't dude yeah, yeah. we'll go to another rabbit hole shout out to uh lord star killer he's here every week uh, most of you guys are here every week shout out to all of you you're awesome uh let's move forward new topic can I just say that real quick? Hold on. Can I just say that? Godfall people that's coming to, to PlayStation uh, Plus this month, Godfall, the, the Legendary Edition, whatever, that's not the game. It's apparently only the end game. There's no campaign. There's no nothing. It's it's <laughs> basically like six hours of the game that you can kind of test and see if you like. They basically put a demo out there for free. This it's month. not the first time either. There was like a free edition of Drive Club, I think. I, I do. It's so yeah, annoying. Like- Drive Club debacle. They first promised it, yeah. and they then they did never even showed it, and then they you know, and then Drive Club killed itself. No, well, Drive Club was supposed to was uh, was on stage, and they said we're gonna be uh, day one, uh, you know, PSN plus, you know, and then it came out, you know, it it didn't come out on PSN plus, mm-hmm. and it didn't work <laughs> for a week. The, yeah. the okay. online code was horrendous. I mean, that's um, just fire, Tim Dog. Don't you be talking that shit story. now. No, that's the way it went down. Uh, I remember that well. That was uh, last gen. Uh, this little uh, Puma ra- uh, rally car is insane in this game. I don't know if you guys have used this, but holy fuck. It is nuts. Um, just a side note. This car is crazy. Hey, uh, Luca, they are apparently... I don't know if you saw people bitching about this. People are trying to compare this to the Skyrim... Uh, on the ultimate edition with the content update where oh, if you want to pay 10, 20 bucks, you can get all these extra content updates uh, with a free next gen patch to every person that has the game. It's free. People are trying to compare this $10 Uncharted uh, upgrade or this new collection of Uncharted. They're taking the old versions off the store, kind of like uh, Grand Theft Auto. And yep. uh, this has got some Sony guys pretty angry out there. Shout out to those guys. At least you're speaking up. That always that gives me a little hope, a little faith in humanity. When you see Sony guys uh, at least talking oh, about you it a saw bit. Sony guys upset. A few, I, I didn't see that. Just a few. Yeah. You know, they're they're very rare. They're scarce. They scamper up a tree like a crackhead every time I see. Them. They're not there for long. But uh, I mean, Fonz, you guys got anything to say on this? Do you see anything on this? Yeah, because I, you know, I put out a tweet about it, and I just put my opinion on it, you know, and say, hey, it's my opinion, but I wish Sony would stop charging ten dollars for these uh, FPS and res boosts. And you, you would think that, you know, okay, this is one man's opinion, but no, everybody under the sun has to come and tell me why I'm wrong and <laughs> why it's a good deal and blah, blah, blah. And you know what? It's not a good deal. I'm sorry. Especially when you have your competition, your direct competition, giving you these types of upgrades for free. They said it was a good deal. It's on yeah. PC. PC, <laughs> it's, these upgrades are free. If you have a PC, well, I'm just saying, better hardware, it's, I mean, it's thank, a free upgrade. But, but here's the thing. Thank God for smart delivery because, you know, we get those types of free upgrades over here on Xbox. And when I play my PlayStation 5, uh, I would like to have all those upgrades for free. And sure, they gave us uh, some upgrades on a couple of titles initially, but it seems like now it's all $10 upgrades. What, what, happens, you, I, I understand what happens if you have the disc, though? If you have the disc, you have to pay $10 you should, upgrade. You have yeah. Yeah. No, if you have yeah, the you, disc. How do no, you pay you, the disc up- works. The disc work. You can get the ten dollar upgrade with the disc. Okay. Apparently, well, at least there's that but, still. But if you are a PS Plus member and you got the game through PS Plus, they they tell you in the fine print you don't get the upgrade. You have to <laughs> wow. buy the game. It just says go fuck yourself. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Luca, what's your uh, what's your thoughts on this? Um, I mean, they said that this is what they were going to be doing going forward, right? With the after the whole Ghost of they Tsushima. They said no more debacle. freebies. Yeah. So, and I think like the shadiest thing about this is the fact that they took away the standalone versions, uh, the PS4 versions, that is, from the store, for, from sale. It was on sale? Okay. Um, I mean, I'm not really surprised. Uh, and I, I don't I mean, I mean, don't really know what to say. Like, this is a conversation and topic we've been covering for, what, a year and a half now? I, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, as it stands right now, I've, I've always said that from a financial perspective, I, I it's just $10. I don't think it's that big of a deal. But if we're talking from like a I'm taking a stand and I don't think this is right sort of thing, then yeah, I'm totally with the gamer there. But, you know, the reason they do this is because people pay for it. So, 
You so can only if ever... we look over at Jim Ryan, he's, he's dancing. Exactly the... right. If we look over at Jim Ryan and we, he's dancing in the street, you're on his shoulders, piggyback, and just woo. Right. Wait, what? <laughs> you, you get the piggyback ride from Jim Ryan right now. Is that what's is that what's happening? Oh yeah, I would totally love that. I get um, what you're saying though, right? Like if you, if it's a kind of a principle in the matter type thing, you get it, but it's ultimately ten dollars. Look, when it's companies like this, though, you give an instant like take a mile. I'm always a yeah. principle of the matter for the most part, anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's basically where I stand a lot. Listen, uh, I, I will always, stuff. I will always, will almost always stand with the consumer, especially if they want to take a stand about something. Because at the end of the day, the gaming industry is what the most profitable industry, and more profitable than even movies. So. Mm-hmm. The fact that they're charging an extra ten dollars, they don't need to be charging the extra ten dollars, but they're doing it because they can and they can get away with it. Therefore, they're gonna do it. They gotta <laughs> People pay for, are gonna that pay for it. Metal. So you know, it is what it is, man. Mm. Well well said. Very well said. The Uncharted it's thing trash. it's not super uh interesting to me. It's it's honestly not um even surprising, but like you said, no. they already said no more freebies, bitch. And they ain't giving us, uh, they ain't giving us something. By the way, uh, Chorus is out. It's a little spaceship game that Xbox did some marketing for. It's out everywhere, but it's out on the Series X right now. I mean, it looks pretty good. I bought it. Uh, it's not in Game Pass. It's not. I thought it was. You lied to it me, was, Zaku. It, it looked super advertised like it was in there. And then everybody's like, hey, it's out. I'm like, oh, I don't see it on Game Pass. They're like, it's not on there. I'm like, what? But you get serious yeah. Sam and get four frames per second when you kill something. I did get serious Sam and I shot some aliens. It was fucking fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it course was, is out. It, it looks pretty filmic. good. It was filmic. You shut up. It was nice and filmy. Chat, let us know what you think about course. Have you tried it? It's the uh, so it's like one of the first games they showed off on the Series X, you know, in the debut where they mainly showed the indie games. Remember, we were bitching about that. Um, yeah, open world space game, apparently. Yeah, it kind of is actually. I mean, it's it's simplistic. So I think it's got the same voice actor of of uh, Tomb Raider as well. That that chick from Tomb Raider. I think that sounds a lot like her, the main character. Um, nice. Take it or leave it. But did you start Shadow Tomb Raider yet, Fonz? No. I, I like I said, I am knee deep in Mad Max. Oh, I've got. I- Probably close to 60 hours in there already. Mm. Well, uh, we'll have to come back to that. But uh, I was just letting people know, Chorus is out there. Somebody requests we talk about it. By the way, I will uh, play it, though. I'm going to do a different thing this show. I'm going to try to do this every show. I'm going to write in the topics. If you guys have any um, kind of things that you want us to also kind of touch on or, or cover, or maybe give some opinions on, we can pick and choose here. You can hashtag RDX on Twitter in real time, and I can kind of pull this up. And kind of give some shout outs. Or if we see anything interesting, uh, we won't cover certain topics because we do gaming to get away from certain things. Uh, but, you know, you get what I'm trying to say. It's nothing new, but I thought it'd be cool. Another way to include you guys. Uh, and shout out to 1,300 people watching this live, guys. We are going to move forward, though. Uh, Vince Sampella, the guy that led Titanfall to success and ultimately Doom. <laughs> no, he's, he's a quality developer. He is leading the DICE team now. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard about this at all. This is a big deal. Uh, like Dice guy left after Battlefield 2042 was done. He just bounced, and then they brought this guy in to Dice. Hey, Vince is legit, though. He is. He is legit. He's made some really good games, like you were saying earlier. So we'll see what happens. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm just waiting. I want to see what he can do. Like, I just want to see what what he can bring to it like from like the respawn entertainment the respawn is probably the best developer that that uh ea has they've brought out nothing but good games and no matter what anybody says like the star wars uh jedi fallen order was one of the best games from last generation freaking awesome but definitely the best star wars game and the uh, apex legends was again one of the best brs to come out so they know what they're doing over there and respawn just doesn't even adhere to what ea wants they don't use the frostbite engine they're not forced to they just are like hey we're gonna make a fucking game the way we want to make it and you're gonna like it bitch and they're like <laughs> all right <laughs> like i'm just saying that That's and reasonable. so for him to go to dice and for him to go to dice and you know kind of maybe lead something i i want to see what they're gonna do i know we're years away from seeing anything from it since he just got hired so i mean and and I, I, this is coming from somebody that you know i enjoyed 2042 I you know I enjoyed playing it. I thought it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed Battlefield in general. So we'll see. You enjoyed playing it. It's over. It's over now. I enjoy playing it here and there. I play with yeah, friends, okay. right? So you're so. like, I enjoyed playing it. It just came out like two. Well, weeks Halo ago. Halo ranked because that's the thing with Battlefield. It doesn't have ranked. 
So like, yeah, I, there's nothing to rank up. And so for Halo, they they just yeah. grab me because of the ranking system. Like I like the ranking. That's I like competitive play. I like playing against people that are equal or better than me. So mm. you know what's funny about I was watching Doctor Disrespect, and he usually is like really dominant, um, especially when he plays like PUBG in his games. And he was having his time on 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 uh, on Halo. Like he, he, you know, you could tell it was it was he was struggling. He was and getting his ass kicked. Well, not really, but he wasn't dominating. But that just goes to show you the the skill level. Well, on Halo, Halo is a team. very high, man. Really ha- Halo is all about team. It's all about teamwork. Yeah. In in Call of Duty or Battlefield, you can kill two people with one clip or three people even with one clip. But not in Halo. Halo, it, it, you know, you gotta you gotta use everything. The map positioning. Yeah. Yeah. You have to work with your team, and so. That's a big thing that Halo is. So. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of uh, Halo esports, which has been fun. And even those guys, they're still coming away with it's high kills, but high deaths as well. You know what I oh, mean? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, I have some games where I'm like three fifteen, literally, like three kills, fifteen more. <laughs> kick, kick this fucking <laughs> pub off the podcast. No, <laughs> kick this then, pub off the podcast. Then, Tim was probably next like, cloud. Leave him alone. Then I'll get like fourteen ten, and then I'll be like eleven ten. With, you know, but I mean, it is, it is, it is not easy, but it's so fun that like, a lot usually of fun. when you get killed, you get like disgruntled. Uh, you know, this I, you know, I die, and I'm like, ah, whatever. I'll just keep playing it it's still fun and two i think that boss mode is is a good it's really good and if you're not in the mood to fucking try hard because you're gonna need to try hard uh go kill some bots and have some fun because that's what it's all about right battlefield's implemented them uh halo's implemented them uh it'll be interesting to see what they do in the future but battle yeah uh all good stuff that's all i play is big team battle what shout out to the team battle? shout out to the shout out to the five people that reported me for hacking. Thanks. Stop hacking, bitch. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Like you hacking piece of shit. And my message on <laughs> Xbox. I'm like Jesus. <laughs> but I'm so sick of these PC guys already. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, one thing I did funny was, and and this is an honest mistake. I'm like looking in the battle pass, and I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, I can cash this in, and then I'm like getting like to a level seven, and oh, I cash it in again, and then eight. And then I cashed in something where it made me a 42 level. I guess you, you buy a thing. And I posted it on Twitter. And somebody's like, you scumbag. You didn't play the game. You mm. bought your way into the, into the battle pass. And I didn't even know what I did. All I know is that <laughs> I guess you used the currency. I just clicked uh, stuff. Like the dollar goes. bill disappeared. And you know, I mean, honestly, for me, I don't, I'm not like, and I hear the people on the progression. I really kind of just play the game. I don't really care about the customization that much. Uh, I just like playing a game, obviously, and winning, and or just you know just experiencing it. I don't like. I'm not deep into the customization and you know the progression like that battle pass. I don't even know what's going on. What I can do. I know you can do a couple. Of Basically, high, but, uh, the battle pass. You're really just paying care. to speed up the unlocks on the list of things it's, left. Uh, or right. Listen, that progression pass is awful. It's trash, trash. and the customization yeah. is also really bad. Why are y'all toxic? It's not toxic if it's the truth. He's so toxic. <laughs> Honestly, I, I never cared about that. Everybody's like, the cosmetic. I'm like, I don't care, man. I just care if, if I can play ranked. It's like, everybody's yeah. like, but I want a sword on my no, life. Like, a lot of times, though, right. Doctor, if you, you could do it, though, you'd have been bragging about it and being like, that's really okay. cool. Right? I, I want to look cute in a game. So that's why mm. I play certain titles. Like, Aww. Destiny lets me look cute. Therefore, I still play it. Uh, I want to look cute while I'm playing Halo, you know? Cute little Titan walking around. <laughs> yes, that's what I want. <laughs> yeah, a cute little Titan. Oh, no. Hey, chat, uh, go ahead and give us a dislike for that. Everything just happened right there. Uh, and obviously, shout out to 1300 watching live. Guys, hit the like button if you haven't, if you didn't mind that last section there. And of course, tell a buddy or two about the show. We do appreciate you. We're talking about all the latest stuff that happened over the past week. Give a shout out to Noof Nukem. Give a shout out to Blorian. It's Timmy, George Foreman. Uh, we got Greggy Three Egg Cur- uh, Kirby, who is a moderator of the show. Shout out to you, brother. Splendiferous Gaz. Shout out to you, Gaz. He says, okay. I'm cute. Failed Pyromancer. He says he's cute too. And then obviously, uh, Frizzle. Shout out to you. Um, I'm thinking about kind of picking up on somebody's conversation with some guests. We have some people. Uh, I talked to somebody recently. We might have someone from Xbox on uh, sooner than later. Uh, so we'll find out about that. But, yeah, I mean, yeah. guys, thanks for making this what we are. We do appreciate it. We're moving forward. Big shout-out to, uh, let me let me see here, hashtag RDX on Twitter. 
Who said anything? I don't know, the first thing I see is a black. Who's that? Pong, Pong Soul. Shout out to you. He gave he gave the show a shout out. Yeah, he we got up, Nano. Pong. We got. Uh, yeah, these are these are actually dating back here. So yeah, shout out to all these no, guys. No one has added anything in the hashtag yet. Yeah, uh, I that's what I'm saying. They gave us a shout out during the show though. See, 57 minutes ago. So if you want a shout out, jump on Twitter. I'm just doing something different, stupid. Who cares? And then obviously it's spendiferous. It's, uh, damn, idea. it's fun. <laughs> he said, "Damn, that looks like a backwards front truck." What the fuck? <laughs> it kind of does. I know what he's mean. I know what he means. Hey, this thing handles better than you think. I can tell you're fucking drifting like your Vin Diesel in Back to Furious <laughs> 10. Yeah. Pretty gets, sure you're going to be in space driving. I think it's got like 20 gears. I'm not sure, but I'm not afraid of any hill in in, in Forza Horizon. Uh, by the way, um, AMD are dropping uh, <laughs> powerhouse Xbox APU SKUs to market. I don't know if you heard about this, d The 4800S uh, desktop kits with X and S system on chips. Uh, and up to ARX 6600 support. Did you hear yes. about that? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did see it. it's like a little small form factor PC. Yeah, it's 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 pretty cool. Yeah. So you you can get the uh, basically the Xbox Series S on PC, which is cool because on PC you can't build anything comparable in price to the Series S. Uh, you or can't build Series a PC X. for five hundred dollars. Yeah, no, not not nothing. Not that's a milk crate okay. case. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 yeah. This is this is gonna be a welcome addition. Uh, I actually recently built a small form factor PC, so this is kind of the way that PC is going. Instead of the big, huge towers, we're getting these little small PCs that you know can fit on your desk, kind it's of kinda cool. like a, like a like a console. So, yeah, it's 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 pretty cool. And we know with Windows 11, <laughs> you get the you know you get the features of uh, Xbox Series X with the velocity and all that stuff. So it's pretty cool, man. Hmm. <laughs> hey, uh, well, a good point, D. And be careful when you get them for small form factor PCs because a lot of times you'll want to upgrade that bitch later on. Avery, uh, shout out to Gamebred uh, on Twitter, hashtag RDX. He says, Xbox has no games. Nope, he's obviously he's trolling. He's trolling. This is the season of it's games. A factual, it's a factual statement. It's facts. It is. It's super facts. Uh, what, what else is super facts is Crossfire X. Well, actually, I don't know if this is super facts. Uh, there's a, a release date of. Dis- December 29th? Tim, have really? you heard what? anything about that? Out of the blue, huh? I don't know if that's wow. accurate, though. That's why I'm asking Tim if he had heard anything. He lives in this world. <laughs> what, Tim, what, what world is this? What, what question is this? Uh, Crossfire, Crossfire X release X. date, supposedly December 29th. Have you heard anything about that? No. I mean, listen, that's been, if, if that hits the end of the year, what a year. But that's been always <laughs> in the year. middle of... Uh, but you they know, said it in their own documents. I covered this that they plan on launching very, this year. They've been very, uh, yeah, but they've been very quiet and they've been very stealthy. And they've, I, I don't know, I, I wouldn't put so much confidence in it. But if it does, it's it's unbelievable. Uh, it'd be interesting. It's a remedy led single player with a it's big. Very interesting. Yeah, that's uh, that's. I mean, if it's it true, I don't good. know. I did share a screenshot too. Remedy, I don't know though. if this is remedy. even real. The screenshot, I wanted to run it by you as well. It, it kind of has some red flags to it, but I figured I would bring it up because I've been getting sent this. But if you look in the RDX chat, you'll see the screenshot. We'll check. I do believe it was George me. Foreman thinks that it'll be at the Game Awards. So, But that could be, and that could be the PC thing that they're talking about. Would that be a PC game? I'm pretty sure it would be. Yes. It so would be. there you go. That's one of them. Could be. That's. That's or or that's talking about the Game Pass thing, the the yeah that they're gonna have multiple yeah no that's legitimate yeah that's legitimate that Um, hey that if that comes to fruition holy shit man Xbox ending the year with a bang on all cylinders man well I think that they're gonna have uh I think that they're gonna I don't is this a topic I don't know if it was but I think they're gonna have a a bunch of stuff there and I'm very excited if you're an Xbox fan I think that's the night you should. You know, definitely watch the so awards. I heard, do, you, do, you I heard. Wanna, do you want to read this screenshot and kind of give people the context here? And the... Yeah, so so there's a, Xbox Game Pass, the Twitter, um, and the PC one, too. They have two Twitters. They uh, they kind of post this thing called Melissa McGame Pass, which like kind of teases things. And they what? said, hi, team. Ext- yeah, it's, it's what they do. They just do like these little hints and yeah. stuff, that, the Easter Mc eggs. Game Pass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, it's like, yeah, it's, it's legit because it's from legit. the Xbox. Yeah, right. so they say, yeah. hi, team. Extremely confidential info here uh during the game awards we're announcing four additional games coming to day one to game pass for pc on top of our already elite lineup 
Here's the full scope of games. Announced day one, uh, PC games coming in the future. They talk about Warhammer 3, Fallout, or Redfall, Stalker, Atomic Heart, Slime Rancher, all the ones that we already know. Uh, then they say Redacted, Redacted also, blah, blah, blah. And it's four like bullet points. Unannounced day one PC games to announce at the Game Awards coming in the future. So now everybody on Reddit, everybody on every forum, everybody on Twitter is trying to figure out what's the four games. Um, I, I'm not too sure. I think that for them to put that out, it's going to be pretty big ones like the Crossfire X coming maybe December 29th. That makes would be sense. big. That would be big. I mean, but that everybody knew about sense. that game. The, the the thing for me, though, is that they're saying additional games coming to day one. Like, wasn't Crossfire hmm. X already addition, like announced as that? I don't know no. if it was. They didn't, they didn't list it in the listing coming to the future. So there's your answer. They definitely could put it there. Because they okay. did their listing of what they have, and Crossfire, I would think, I'm going to say Crossfire possibly could be there. And, and and if you notice, they talk about PC games, but they, they don't mention Xbox. <laughs> and I think they yeah. do that on purpose, because these other four games are also coming to, to Xbox. They're just okay. playing on words right now. So I mean, they could, um, be, they could be PC exclusive games like Warhammer 3. Mm -hmm. Right, like Total War, which is like a strategy game that's only on PC. There could be something like that going on where they have more of those um, kind of lined up because they are trying to get the PC market going. Um, I don't know. I mean, that, we'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, they've been dropping a lot. I mean, like they've stealth dropped like the, the Warhammer Battle Sector, Serious Sam. Like, There's a lot of games on there that they just dropped, like that just were just shadow dropped um, on, on Game Pass just today and yesterday. Um, so keep an eye on that. Battle Sector, by the way, is a really good game, strategy game, turn based. Check it out; it's fucking great. Hmm. Well, uh, that could be something that definitely happens at the Game Awards. By the way, we have a few more tweets here. hashtag hashtag RDX. I'll let a few more of these pile up. And we'll read them for the end of the show, uh, or at least try to get to some of these. But uh, yeah. yeah, the Game Awards, all that stuff. I mean, that could be something they definitely reveal there. They probably got some announcements there. Obviously. It's going to be the biggest show after E3 or probably even over E3, right? So, uh, yeah, I'm hearing Nintendo. I mean, I'm hearing Nintendo is kind of, they want to have their own spotlight, at like a Nintendo Direct or E3 next year. Sony apparently has uh, like a Chrono Cross revival that's a PS5 console exclusive. Smaller games, they're not, they, they might be there, but I'm, I, again, it's up in the air. People are thinking that Sony's not going to be there as big as people think. And then that Xbox is actually, going to be announcing stuff that's already been announced. So like a Hellblade 2 might be there. Um, they expect like a Hellblade 2 trailer, a Redfall, which is a title they want to promote before I, the summer. What are you talking and, about? For Game Awards? Yeah, for the Game Awards. This is Xbox. I, I, heard, I heard possibility of Avowed, which I'm excited about. Yeah, that was something Jez brought up. He said that since he knows so much about it, he said he wouldn't be surprised I to see I heard it, there. it from somebody else other than Jez, too. So, oh, well, then that might be there, yeah. too. And then Alan Wake 2, uh, Sonic... Uh, Persona coming to Game Pass. That's another one. Uh, Persona Five coming to Game Pass, and there's a lot of rumors floating around right now. Like it's a, it's a, a pretty Fall big event. A big one too. Redfall was the one I kept hearing. I well. wouldn't be surprised to see Redfall because it's they say summer, summer 2022. 2022. Yeah, yeah well, so they would want to like show. Um, it. Remember that Project Mara as well, which we know internally what has ever a different. To that internally it has a different name. Obviously, uh, I talked about this quite a while ago that it was supposed to actually come out. Before Redfall, even uh, it's remember it's just a small thing. A small the whole game, game yeah. takes yeah. place in a single One room, place. room. We'll take a single lo location. Yes. Yeah, but it looks really uh, hyper realistic and, and like it looks really good. I, if, you're looking if, in the mirror, it, going downstairs, looking in another mirror. And yeah. Scary that looks cool. Well, they well Jeff Keeley also said that the if you remember the Elden Ring gameplay reveal during the summer on his show and the yep. E3 show that he had. He said that there's four to five of those type of big reveals at the Game Awards because mm -hmm. of how good, like, I, apparently, like, the Elden Ring, like, reveal did really good for the, the company. They really, they got, like, a lot of people to get Luke hyped for the it. game and stuff like that. And, yeah, but it, a lot of people saw it, right? Like, they had eyes on it. And so well, now with Game Sony Awards, have he's there. There. I mean, he said four to five games. He didn't say what company, but, I, I you know, that Sony's new Bioshock, there. that new Bioshock could be there. Mm. And they they do probably need to reintroduce Arkham Knight, uh, ba Batman Gotham Nightlights, <laughs> Nightlights, yeah. Because uh, that 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 was shown off what over oh. a year ago. Um, the, and last yeah. night, the last night is rumored too, and if you guys remember the last night, that was shown in 2017, I believe, 
and that was that like uh like it's it's weird looking techno uh game but it looks very interesting um with the graphics and style graphics it's called the last night uh that's uh, that's supposed to be there uh, real but, quick, uh, uh, real quick. DC did like this event, and they showed off Gotham Knights, so, which did, was yeah. They, how much did the campaign did they show off? Do you know? I, I thought they just showed off a, a new trailer. I don't. I remember. think it was a trailer. Yeah, I don't remember anything about it. It wasn't gameplay, it was, Luca. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it. No, I think they. Sh- yeah, it was just a trailer. It was a uh, like a cinematic. It was a trailer thing. talking about the uh, Court of Owls. Uh, the Court of Owls yeah. and everything else. I'm and excited for the game, like just because I can't wait. I want to play a Batman game, and this is the closest fucking I'm going to get to it in the next decade, probably. Don Otaku, by the way, says I think uh, he says I think the four games will be games that are revealed at TGAs, and you'll see day one on Game Pass at the end of the day at the end of the reveals. That's very very possible. And then we got um, Sinchi three oh four. Shout out to you, ten dollars super chases. Best part of Tuesday. Love y'all, D Batch. <laughs> you enough Series X's eyes off the uh, the Gucci one. <laughs> well, uh, eyes off that Gucci one. Apparently, there's a Gucci Xbox. I have no idea. Yeah, there was. Marcus yeah. Brownlee was yeah. displaying that yeah, on the, his channel, and he's some, giving it away. Did it look like a purse? Hmm. It comes in like this, like suitcase. a box, and yeah, it comes like in a suitcase. Yeah, he he tweeted out that if you retweet it, you can win it. So the only ten thousand of- made. Yeah, but a bunch of guys were saying, you got the Halo one. You don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Deep Batch is sitting there spamming F5 all day until he gets that shit. <laughs> all right. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate you, brother. Obviously, we uh, Game Awards and stuff, that'll be interesting. That's Thursday, for those that are curious. Yep. It's upcoming Thursday. So uh, I guess we'll get some new trailers. I don't even know if I'll watch the event. I'll probably just wait for the well, trailers to hit. And okay. It. Hey, dealer, how about we get in a party chat and we watch it? I believe that you will not do that. Yes, I will. I, I'm around Thursday night, so All right. I'm watching it. it too. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'll be there. I'm gonna watch. It. I like the Game Awards. I think it's. I fun. do too. Ooh, so wait. do I. I I came to like it. I Let's used all to get together and have pie and watch it. <laughs> but you know what? It's a celebration of gaming. It's a celebration, and, bitches. It's a celebration, and, uh, bitches. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. I, and I kind of I know people don't like Jeff, but I do like Jeff. He, he, <laughs> like when that when that Xbox came he out, like, he's blown away. Like. Like I don't know, he's he's just uh, he's definitely a Sony guy and he's a Sony yeah. fan, which is a awesome. celebration, British. But he he's a good guy. I've met him in real life, and he seems like he was pretty cool. So uh, I think he I does do... a really good job with the Game Awards, and I think he really cares about them. Yeah, I, I I just I just watch it for the the premieres to be. I don't give a fuck you. either way about him. I watch it all. But I hopefully like he has some cool. Now's uh, your time. So... Hopefully it's cool trailers, much Luke. better. The first one was horrendous. I'm just, glad that we have, I'm just glad that we have, you know, another event that's like, you know, six, seven months yeah. after E3. Yep. And then it like gives us something to look forward to, to the spring. And then we go into the spring with some new games, some new trailers. And then Zachary, you should there's E3. I am. Start the Zachary well, Awards. The big rumor is how Blade 2 is definitely going to be there. Oh, that's dope. Start and the Zulk uh, Awards. That's been, that's been uh, rumored for the longest time. Supposedly, Hellblade was ready to go E3, and they were pushed back. Oh, uh, uh, this just in. I got a text from Obi-Wan. He said he will be there Thursday night with Pi if we have a party chat. We don't want oh, you in there. Lock good. the party Obviously, down. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I really think Xbox is going to have a lot. Um, so if you're an Xbox fan, it's going to be extra fun. But, you know, I, I think, though, that there'll be – I think Sony's going to – I'm interested in what he said – for that, if there's going to be that many, Sony's going to be in there. They're going to have one showing, and I wonder what they could be cooking up. Uh, they definitely been very quiet. Horizon, Horizon and that's it. Yeah, the, well, don't lie, Horizon. Zaki. Stop lying. You Ghost know, Ghostwire, Horizon. maybe. <laughs> Ghostwire looks good. That looks definitely good. One of the interesting ones. Well, I, uh, I guess uh, we will see. Chat. What games do you think will be at the Game Awards? Let us know down below. By the way, dark. Please. I, I really just hope they show a vow. I really want to see uh, a vow. That'll make my Celebration night. bitches. <laughs> well, gotcha, bitch. <laughs> hey, uh, turn 10 confirm uh, motorsport for 2022, by the way, uh, which is uh, a common sense, but that's another that game that you, can, you can add that's to your... That's probably going to be at the awards then. Yeah. yeah that could be I mean, that's another game that you can add... Well, they said they're going to share much more in 22, blah, blah, blah. I got a bunch of stuff on it, but um, 
That can that, that's another game you can add to the feather, the feather and the cap. Add the feather and the cap, whatever the fuck they say. All right. So when people say what's the what games coming out for Xbox, Motorsport is definitely that. And you know when people try to downplay it, you just bring up how they just brought up Gran Turismo, and uh, that this is going to be better because Forza is always better than Gran Turismo, and just tell them to play Forza instead of Gran Turismo. That's but, right. That's right. Uh, but yeah, they, they focused on a lot more on simulation, getting their simulation right, doing a lot of under the hood stuff. And apparently they've learned a lot. Uh, it's like some breakthroughs have enabled them to get more accurate modeling out of their CAD system, which, you know, they work with real tire manufacturers uh, they model, they actually run simulators for professional F1 teams and stuff too. Sometimes they do all kinds of stuff. They get access to other people's simulators. They they're just constantly collecting data and feeding it through their system. And I'm very interested to actually play uh this motorsport game but again we will hear more about that soon danny passion okay. by the way says hashtag rdx what is your opinion on the game awards uh players choice award their voice award on halo and forza horizon five dominance so that's on twitter hashtag rdx um you know hey what do you think the players are going to vote for you know you know what one thing i will say is that the, i would say the yeah player... halo for sure hey, yeah forza for sure right Fonz? yeah but the gamer award uh the player's voice anyway that no PlayStation game made it. How, was, how did that happen? Because they had no damn games out. But no. they did. No. They a did. long time ago, Fonz. See, see that, that, is, that is the reaction to the big snub. And I think this is to give the game its kudos. I think that's kind of apparent. Oh, so I don't know how Guardians of the Galaxy is yeah. not up in there. Yeah. How the fuck is Guardians not in there? Well. I think I think I don't think Guardians sold as, as well as they wanted to sell. I, I think the stink from Avengers was still on uh, on them, and uh, unfortunately, some people passed up on the game. And the game's excellent. You should definitely play the Guardians game. Guardians good, but I, I don't. I don't. I, I wouldn't say it's a game of the year contender for me. But it's really, really good. Solid game. Guardians ain't a, like uh, shouldn't be nominated. I, Make up your damn it, mind, it, Fonz. It, 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 it depends, should be nominated. It, it, I don't uh, know about winning, but it should be nominated. I think, it should I, be I think there's better games in there for me anyway. I I, I preferred Psychonauts two to that game. So. What's your what's your what's your I game of you. the year, Fonz? What's the, the game fuck, <laughs> Fonz? What's That's your game more. of the year? Hey Biff Rinaldi, real quick, Biff Rinaldi, uh, put that code out in print so I can copy and paste it, buddy. The picture sideways is shit. He says he just put a 14 day Game Pass Ultimate code in the inbox. I'm trying to give that to the chat, but obviously I'll wait for Bit to uh, wow. reply here. Twitter live. Hey, somebody, somebody said that Guardians only sold two mil. Wow. Yeah, it did do well. Yeah. I mean, it has its issues. It's it's great. It's got great banter, great story. But when it comes to the gameplay aspect, it, it's lacking just a bit in the combat. I hate just, you. Just a bit. The game is great. I, when you compare Don't it, play the game. Even when it if says, you compare it, it to says, something it like says, Mad I just Max, it which is how old, and Mad Max's combat just far surpasses it. It says 4 million. I just looked it up. It sold about 4 million copies. Okay. So yeah, this guy not, is fine. You're a liar same, in the it's chat. It's not even the same type of combat model. As Mad know, Max. Mad Max is Batman combat. Yeah, but still, you know what? It, I think combat all combat. action games should be Batman combat. Honestly, that, that <laughs> I combat. really do too. I, I just make every really game Batman. Just do it. Copy paste. Spider Man's the same way. Batman, yeah. Mad Max. Uh, like, Copy yeah, paste, that's man. the way to do it. Splendid yeah. says, "I'm always here, bitches. Uh, at work, and not working till this is over. Till this is off. Shout out to you, buddy. And then obviously, uh, shout out to Danny Passion again. RDX best game podcast going." Thank you. That's all on Twitter. Uh, shout out to everyone at hashtag RDX this week on Twitter. I'll probably do it again next week. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, we've also got a few more um, super chats. Zach, you want to grab those and we can kind of do our thing here. Shout out to uh, 1300 or 1200 plus uh, watching the show, guys. Hit the like button if you haven't. Let's try to get closer to 1000 for the show. And Ascension. obviously tell a buddy or two. We do appreciate you. Go ahead, Zach. Okay, so the farthest I can go back is Senshi. He says, I was that guy, lol, or blue. Don't know what that means. Uh, but thanks for the chat, buddy. Uh, we got uh, Nook Guy. He said, I only Chinook. hate... Chinook. Chinook. <laughs> Thank you. I know. He's even got a I only hate one you. thing about... <laughs> yeah, I only hate the one thing about the Game Awards is it how they treat the awards because sometimes they just rattle them off. Yeah, they kind of do, don't they? They kind of go like, and eh, that's the next award. Right, and on. the next advertisement. Yeah. Uh, Jedi Knight Peter, he says, can you, can I, uh, Keanu Reeves rendered in Unreal Engine 5 is even more breathtaking. Can't wait to see more UE5 next generation only games. Hellblade 2 will be amazing. Shout out to Jedi Knight Peter, because he's got a good point, man. Like, uh, you're starting, you're going to really start to see a lot of this stuff in action getting really leveraged here soon. So this is going to be awesome. 
And then Hargeet, who does say, uh, should there be more than six six noms for Game of the Year? Yeah, there should be more than six nominee. In my opinion, anyway, there should be. And then we got one, Brigaders Blue. Shout out to you. He does say, I uh, think we'll see Starfield at Game Awards, or will that be saved for E3? P.S. Hit the like button, and dealer, just call me Brig. All right, what I should have read that part first. Thank I you, mean, sir. They probably only have six because the orchestra can only memorize uh, six <laughs> theme songs for the game. Of the- <laughs> they only play six tracks. <laughs> yeah, we only have six tracks in the CD changer. Sorry, Jeff. Uh, Good point. Um, Luca, by the way, have you played Horizon 5? And I will stab you if you say no. No, I haven't. Oh, my God. I'm throwing you know, a ninja I, star I, your I way get, right now. I get scared. You get scared. Yeah, let me explain. So, you know, I've been in many car accidents. The last time Don't I played even. A game, hold on. <laughs> the last time I played a Forza no, game, I felt serious. like I was going too fast and it freaked me out. So I had to, I had to uninstall. Yeah. I've heard I'm being, that. I'm being serious. Um, like, I, you're serious. I am serious. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. It just. Can I, can I just say, how was Halo nominated for game of the year when only a couple people have played it? Yeah. Because fuck the logic. Voice. That's the game awards. <laughs> Well, I told Jeff Player's on Twitter. I, said, I told Jeff on Twitter, redo your fucking voting system. Like redo yeah, you your did. system. I'm talking about the gamers voting, bro. They were just like, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> the gamers uh, it, the are gamers, like, we're doing it. It's same shit applies. Game, yeah. Redo your system. But uh, hey. good master chief with one bullet taking out an army. Look at uh, this. Master chief could do anything. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Uh, we got the best chat ever. Uh, hilarious. Spider Man three six five three five six. Shout out to you. We've also got uh, D'Angelo. We got hey Fonz, you're in the ha- you're in the you're in the chat. Nighthawk, Mike Hawk, and then we've got yeah, Donald Talk, who's yeah. a, a super chat there. Is Alcar Chinook guy with another one. Get those two, and then we can uh, say our outros, our goodbyes, and thank everyone for joining us. Alcar saying. Uh... Wait, what? Did you hey, I want to get this one. Don Otaku says, Fawn's about Halo. The story matters a lot. Fawn's about Guardians of the Galaxy, the gameplay, though. <laughs> Which one is it, Fawn's? <laughs> well, you know what, sir? I'm not Make saying either game is bad either. Hey, the- I am not saying either game is bad either. And I did say that I'm not going to pass judgment with uh, Halo Infinite until I play it, sir. So you're wrong. Fonz kisses Thanks for the tails. five, though. And then we got Chinook Guy, right? He says one last thing uh, with <laughs> with the release of Halo Infinite, uh, Xbox stops with cross gen. Uh, well, that you know of, right? Remember, I've 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 seen Motorsport running on an Xbox One. They definitely have that game running on an Xbox One. Will they release it on an Xbox One? We don't know, but uh, just just know that, okay? He says he thinks more people need to understand that. You know, a lot of these games aren't going to be on last generation consoles. Now, that's what that's how we knew Gran Turismo 7 wasn't going to be a PS5 exclusive, right? Because there's nothing in the gameplay design, the visual scales, we've proven and as, as we've seen. I think a lot of last gen games look better than most of the next gen games this, this year, last year too, right? Red Dead, Doom Eternal, all last gen games look better than most of the exclusive next gen shit. It's this stuff scales, same, same as machine learning this time. So, uh, yeah, but we will see where Motorsport goes and what they decide to do. If they do it, you'll see a, a big leap in some of the gameplay stuff and, and the way that detail affects cars. That stuff would have to be computated and kind of like uh, computated, <laughs> you know, it would have to be processed in real time. And that might be a little too demanding. So I guess we'll see, Shinnok guy. But good point. It could be a very real possibility. Uh, Hellblade 2, I definitely see being exclusive though, Fonz. What? What, what was that? Make up your mind, Fonz. You're going to hear or not. God, you're so flip flop. Yeah, I'm here right now. I Look, I, I was talking to the chat, sir. What's up? I don't know. I was just trying to segue. Okay. Hey, big shout out to 1200 watching live. Guys, hit the like button. Tell a, tell a buddy to subscribe to everybody here. We're going to do some outros. Thanks for showing up and uh, giving us your opinion. Almost 1300 tonight. We do appreciate you. Uh, we are going to get out of here, play some games, all the good stuff. We're going to do some outros. The Batch. What have you been playing? Where can people find you, bud? I've been playing lots of Halo, and I can't wait to stream it tomorrow. Tomorrow, as soon as it goes live, I'm going to stream it on YouTube. I'm debating that I'm going to do it on PC or the Xbox Series X, but it will be top quality for sure at 4K with 60 FPS. Um, you can catch me on Twitter. Top at quality. D- oh, my God. That's loud. <laughs> <laughs> you can stupid. catch me on Twitter. D underscore batch and of course at YouTube at D batch. Uh, let's cross our fingers for a midnight 
Halo Series X launch somewhere in the US, somewhere in Canada. Hopefully they'll drop a few more consoles because tomorrow obviously is Halo launch day. So I hope everyone that's looking for an Xbox can at least get one last minute to, to play the game. And if not, you know, grab a Series S and enjoy the game. Uh see you guys next week. It was a good show. Thanks for coming on, Luca, your family. Uh like it it, it feels like you just belong here, man. It was a good show. Oh, see you I guys f- next week. Thank you. Aww. That's so sweet. Thank you. Um I love you guys. By the way, Hargy. Did you ever get rid of that Series X? What the fuck? Hit me up, man. Yeah. I got cash. Tim, did he ever uh, reach out to you? No. Fucking <laughs> Hargeet. He sold it for triple on the market. <laughs> he was like, I could get a thousand dollars for this? No, I mean, he, he said he, he said, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just fucking with Hargeet, but yeah, last week he said he had one and he'll sell it, but. That's right. You wanted it for the seventy. But I told you, if, if you could get it, right, right then yeah. give it to you. But he, I, I never heard from him. He said he never did. Hargy yeah, said, fuck no. y'all, I'm using it. <laughs> uh, Tim, what have you been playing, buddy? Where can people find you? I've been playing Halo pretty much. That's it. And looking forward to the campaign tomorrow. Uh, I've been uh, just on Twitter, xCloud Tim Dog. Great show, great panel. Always nice to have Luca on. Uh, and uh, see you next week. We'll be talking about Halo. Hopefully, uh, I liked it better than Dealer. Maybe you'll give it an 87 instead of an 85. Maybe I'll be arguing with you. Maybe. I think you'll get drop kicked though. But we'll I still see. like you. Um, we'll yeah, I mean, like I said, I give it 84, 85. Hey, if you haven't checked out my video, go check it out. Halo Infinite campaign. Non-spoiler footage. There's no spoilers, really. The only spoiler is, hey, the ending sucks. But, you know, you heard it here. <laughs> You, you heard it here, it. right? So you might as well go watch that video and give it six more views each. It'd be great because that thing did horribly. Obviously, you know, you're not hyping it up. People don't want to hear that shit, but I knew that would happen. Bonds, what have you been playing? Where are people behind you? You know what I find is really funny? You could say the story's trash. It sucks. And they're like, fuck you, Fonz. I'm like, I didn't say that. The dealer said that. But anyway. <laughs> well, I, I did, you know, I've, and, and you I didn't know, say I've, the story sucked. I just said the ending did. Yeah, the ending. Uh, yeah, you know what I've been playing. Mad Max, man, uh, really hooked on that game right now. Uh, don't want to play anything else until I beat this. Uh, so I will be playing Halo this weekend, though. I will be diving into that and possibly just uh, just completing it this weekend and uh, giving you my thoughts on Tuesday. I can tell everybody what I feel, what we all feel. Anyway, uh, it, it'll be a fun time. And I'll be very honest, people. Uh, if I like it, I will tell you I, I like the game. And uh, I, there's a chance I will because I've heard so many good things about it. Even with the story, I've heard great things. So I'm excited to play that. Um, uh, you can find me at Fonzarelli Gaming right here on YouTube, Jay Fonzarelli on Twitter. And uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, uh, and GameStock Live Sunday, uh, I will have Chris Grinnell. He was sick this past Sunday. He couldn't make it. But next Sunday, he'll be on. Christy Poo. Yeah, Chris Christy Grinnell, dude. shout out to him. He's probably Chris eating the crumpets guy, somewhere. Man. He got crumpets, you know, you know crumbs what? all over. Dealer, you need to you need to have uh, Chris Grinnell on again, especially if you, when it gets closer to like you know talking about um, mo- motorsport and stuff, because he's really into races, uh, racers and stuff. So yeah, I played uh, Circuit Superstars with him. It's a little top down yeah. uh, indie racer. It's pretty fun. But uh, yeah, Chris is a good guy. Definitely, uh, he needs to come on the show again. We were actually talking that, about that recently, but we'll talk about that later. I uh, got to give a shout out to uh, the Ashen, the Ashen one, Luca, for coming on. Do appreciate you uh, for jumping on here and, and giving us your thoughts on some stuff and just uh, being awesome. Uh, what have you been playing and where can people find you? Any final thoughts on anything maybe you didn't get to talk about? Um, You guys can hear me, right? Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, I almost <clears throat> fell out of my chair again. But <laughs> okay. I did want to <laughs> say uh, thank you so much for having me. I always love hanging out with my bros. You know, it's always a good time with y'all. Um, you guys can find me on Twitter at the Ash and Luca. I also have a YouTube channel and I uh host a podcast called Scumcast. Uh Saturdays at six PM Central Time and we talk about a variety of topics, gaming, movies, um, T V shows, stuff that's happening with celebrities and stuff. So it's 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 a good time. And yeah, uh, I've been playing Halo Infinite multiplayer, got about twenty six hours into that. And today I played the new Destiny 2 content that came out, the 30th anniversary. How's that? Yeah, it's how a, was it? It's ch- ch- excellent. Ch- 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 it's, um, it's, it's really good. It's definitely really good. You know, I like the fact that they uh, it features weapons from Halo in it. And it kind of makes, like, the fact that it launched today and Halo Infinite campaigns launching tomorrow, that 
nice coincidence there. Quote, Did they unquote, remove any more of the so. story from you? Oh, they will be removing uh, the Forsaken campaign in February. So, yes. <laughs> Why are they doing oh, that? Uh, to make more room for the game. Because because they built this game on last gen and it's just the trash. game like, the game wasn't supposed to last this long they were supposed to already what be about that destiny 10 year 3. plan so, so they know they were supposed to make like a destiny 3 like yeah destiny they were, one was still supposed to be going according to these fuckers. Uh, yeah i know yeah i know it's yeah, yeah, yeah. lying ass but anyway hey, you know what i forgot to say uh you know a nice thing about luca thank you for coming luca i really had a great time with you here it was really nice of you to show up that's, that's always been awesome. talking to you bro bro you and know. i need to get on that show again i need to join you yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, smack some yeah, I did people that. around so on there. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, um, I, I'm kind of moved in and settled in now, so I should be able to do it too. Like, have us on there right now. Let's do one. Sounds good. Yeah, All let's right. do it. Let's turn on your channel. Well, um, I'm, I'm actually. <laughs> it up. I'm, I'm going to get some fruit and then I'm, I'm going to go to bed. Yeah. So dip, dip some yeah. grapes and some milk. No, none well, of that, know, please. Uh, thanks for bringing that up again. Cause it's I've, been four years. Let it uh, go, oh, please. A, you still dip grapes and milk, so I'm still going to no. talk about it. Hey, uh, you, Zauker, wait, what? Zauker, no, 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 yeah, she, she loves oh. the grapes. No, no, milk. ignore him. She ignore fills him. a bowl up with, with milk and so. puts grapes, grapes in them. Hey, Zauker, what are you playing, buddy, and where can people find you? Hey, man. Hey, chat, everybody. Thanks for having me on again, dealer. This is, I, I love doing the podcast. The chat's awesome. Everybody, like, we just feed off of you guys. And I'm so glad we had Luca on. People don't know, Luca is probably one of the best people I've ever met in this community. Uh, she's Stop. a true friend. You never and... met Spooky Sprocket, bitch. Don't she's even be making judgments. <laughs> shout out, to, great shout out to Spooky yeah, Sprocket. Awesome. Fuck all these spooky. guys. Yeah. Um, but yeah, now you guys can find me on Twitter, Zalker87, YouTube, Zalker87. Luca, again, thank you for coming on. We all love you and you're awesome. Um, as for games I'm playing, uh, I've been playing a lot of Halo Infinite uh, multiplayer, obviously. Just been doing a lot of ranked, having a lot of fun with my buddies. And then I've been playing, uh, by myself, I've been playing Warhammer 40k Battle Sector, which is that turn based game that just dropped on Game Pass. This released back in July on, I think it was PC only, and then they brought it to console now and Game Pass. So the game's really good. Check it out <laughs> if you like that Warhammer stuff, and I'm really enjoying it. It's really the the graphics. It's freaking brutal. You just it's cutting amazing. aliens in half. It's fucking awesome. So uh, yeah, that's he's it. Chat, thanks for being chat. here again. Yes, I am. Strategy. Uh, Luke cool. is like he's lying. <laughs> he's lying. Do not she dips grapes in milk. Cat, yeah, you heard me. No, 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 no. She no. uses toothpicks when she's feeling fancy. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. If we're going to be talking about grapes and milk, we need to talk about that eight out of ten you gave Hellboy Dealer. All right, we can't be talking. You better know, than your channel. Go so I give it a five out of ten. <laughs> hey, uh, shout out to everyone in the chat again. Uh, I think that get everybody. Um, I got to give a shout out to Mad Wheel. Ten dollars super chase is three months of Game Pass Ultimate. He's just dropping the codes. He says hit the like on the way out. Here's the code for Game Pass Ultimate three months. Shout out to Mad Wheel, man. This dude's just giving away. And, you know, he just pops in here like Santa Claus sometimes. Uh, Obi sent me something, and he said that Halo Infinite, they put out a a, uh, a tweet, and they said that the campaign launches tomorrow at 10 a.m. Players who have already downloaded the multiplayer beta will have smaller will have a smaller download uh, size. Yeah. Uh, why, why is that? Because they probably already downloaded, downloaded the, assets. Yeah. All that uh, okay. Uh, I guess he just really wanted that put out there because he, he probably updates me that. too. And texted me. Well, let me give there's a shout-out to there, Wolf of Darkness real quick. Uh, Wolf of Darkness says, what's up, podcast? Great panel. Fonz, what's your impression of uh, Chorus running on Xbox Series X? You know Fonz didn't buy that fucking game. I I, I, I didn't play that game yet. Like, I, look, I, I, I want to try the game, but that it's the shooter? Like, Come it's a spaceship game with ray tracing. Yeah, 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 now yeah. I played yeah, the game. I, was like I paid the forty I bucks out, for the game. Wolf when I found out it wasn't in Game Pass, like Zocker, I was like, "Oh, I thought it was in Game Pass." Yeah, same here, man. I was like, "What the fuck? Well, it's not in Game Pass." What? Look, no, these cheap bastards I, didn't support the developers. You hear? Now they're all dipping grapes in milk. Yeah, I'm I waiting for a band the Oreos, so not up. grapes. I, I think I think the game looks pretty good for what it is, but yeah, I mean, I'm not far enough. I'm probably like an hour in, maybe. I'll be real. I'm not really trying to start anything big. I'm just waiting for Halo. That's it. Like I, I'm just sitting here, like but, patiently waiting. But you sat there and defended Evil Geniuses too last week, like for a lot. And did you play that at least? Did I defend it? Yeah. Yeah. Did I? Did. Yeah. Who yeah, was criticizing it for me to defend it? You defend everything. <laughs> you dumb bitch. You just got called out. <laughs> did you play it? No. I told you I'm not playing anything. Well, this is me calling Halo. you out, bitch, because I did play yeah, it. Did you like it? Actually, yeah, I did. 
<laughs> but I, was, I wasn't fuck. criticizing it. I just didn't know what the fuck it was. I was asking you. Nobody was criticizing it. Because, you you know, normally you'll, you'd will you know about, you know, these types of games. So I just yeah, asked you about it. he knows about all the weird games. Yeah. All the easy, easy, easy uh, My stuff. favorite point, part of last week was... Uh, Are you really going to come out saying... and Mushroom Gamer? <laughs> yeah. Mushroom Gamer? <laughs> <Mushroom laughs> <laughs> 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 What were you what saying, say? He said aliens. He said that alien games. Alien oh, yeah. Trash. yeah we and I was it. like, thank you. And then Zocker's like, thank you. Like, And then you were like, you didn't even play it, Fonz. You yeah. can't talk about it. And I was like, no, I didn't. And I just started laughing. You and said, Zocker's That's right. like, you fraud. Yeah. Uh, uh, Zocker's a simpleton. He liked the alien fire team. So, you know, uh, if, if yeah, you yeah. if you like kind of like mindless little piece of shit movie tying games or whatever, then thank alien you. Delta Fart. So let us know how you, what you think of it. Uh, Looks like a PS3 game. Yep. Don't listen to Dealer. All he's played is 2K. I don't want to hear it. You shut your face. Even if I did only play 2K, I would still have played more games than you this month. That's a lie <laughs> from the devil's anus. This is a lie right from the devil's asshole. Yep, hey, it uh, is. Chat, let us know what you think about the devil's asshole. We're going to get out of here. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit the like button. And of course, <laughs> subscribe to all these guys. Bleak. Hit the hit the, hit the bell icon. <laughs> I'll be releasing videos this week. Everything's starting back up. So, um, yeah. Hopefully, uh, you guys have a great night. Go eat some food, play some games. We will see you uh, sooner than you think. I think you'll see us sooner than we think because Tuesday is going to hit sooner than you think. It always does. Uh, another great week. Another fantastic panel and show, chat, all that good stuff. We are getting the fuck out of here. We'll see you. It's a wrap. Later. Peace. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. <laughs>